Hello YouTube, this is Bonnie with another unboxing of a new deck. It's an Oracle deck. It is the Synchronicity card deck by Kathy Nichols. And um, my last video was, I believe, of her deck, uh, The Story Cards, uh, also an Oracle deck. And uh, so this is the Synchronicity deck. I, um, for a while she had it available as a bundle. You could buy two, both the decks um, for a discount, but then she was out of them by the time I was ready to order. And then I saw that she had the story cards in stock to buy singly, so I jumped on that. And then I saw that the synchronicity cards came back, so I jumped on that. But right now, um, I did check on, on Etsy where her shop is and she does have the bundle, so you can get both decks for $70 or the, um, or you can buy them singly, depending. So you can, I have her story cards next to me, so we're going to look and see how they're similar and whether or not you need to buy both decks or maybe just one, depending on, you know, what you need in your collection. So I did open this. So you don't have to watch me struggle. And it looks like this is just a receipt. Thank you, Blonnie from Kathy. And look at that, pretty in pink. So this deck apparently comes in a beautiful pink organza bag. The story cards did not. It had a little blue ribbon tied around it, which was very cute with some of her, like a cute business card and uh, something else. But I think it comes in the organza bag because it looks like it has a die in here. So, we will... I have lots of dice, but I do not have a purple one. So it kind of color coordinates. So, yeah, very, very cute. I'm gonna get my scissors, hold on a second. And we're going to um, do some plastic and, okay, and it is a tuck box, <coughs> excuse me, uh, designed by Kathy Nichols, Synchronicity, Oracle Deck, 77 cards, plus interpretation booklet. And we'll come down a little bit lower so you can see this beautiful watercolor art. Just like her story card deck. That's her story cards and this is the synchronicity deck. And you see how gorgeous this is. So beautiful. I'm gonna get my, it is a tuck box, so I always try to use like a, you can use a butter knife, um, some kind of slidey tool so you don't have to totally ruin your tuck box. And we'll put that off to the side. Okay, so it comes with a little booklet. It looks like a little spread card. Um, what is synchronicity? The term synchronicity was popularized by psychologist Carl Jung to explain meaningful coincidences. It's when events in the external world reflect causes originating in the unseen landscapes of the mind and or the spiritual realm. When you use an oracle deck, you look for synchronicities between the cards and pull, the cards you pull and your own life. With this deck, I wanted to enhance the magic of the cards by courting synchronicity in the creative process itself. So I invited the universe to co-create this deck with me by using dice, game spinners, random random color palettes and intuitive painting as part of each piece. You can learn more about my process at 
kathynichols.com or try it yourself in my Create Your Own Oracle Deck e-course. So she does have, and I just saw it, <clears throat> an e-course in her Etsy shop where you she you can literally create your own uh, your own oracle deck. She supplies you with, um, I believe, twenty five wood slats and uh, like twenty five hours or twenty five modules, something like that, of coursework. Um, so you could create your own deck. And there's also a bundle where you can buy the course and you get the two card decks. I think that's $250. But if you just want the course and the wood slats, um, I believe that's like $200 or $220. So it's a really good deal if that's something you're, you want to do. Um, yeah, you get the, you, the two decks really cheap if you buy the course. So I, I'm going to look into it, uh, see, investigate more of what it entails. Um, how to use this deck. You can use your synchronicity deck to do popular tarot spreads and readings. You can pull a card each day to inspire your creative journey, or you can roll the enclosed die and practice adding randomness and synchronicity to your readings. Follow the directions on the back of the enclosed spread card for six new ways to read the cards. The diagrams on the flip side of this card will help you lay out the cards when you read them. So this is the card. And it shows you, I guess there's some directionality, the spread and directions on the back. And I think this probably is counted as one of the cards. It's a 77 card deck. And this will probably be card 77 because I noticed that with the story cards that uh, the spread or direction card was number 77. And so this booklet, like her story cards, has a sentence or two to describe each card, all in alphabetical order. I love the paint splatter. Truly show, shows the artistic process, which I am so amazed with. So let's look at these cards. Um, by first feel, it feels Similar cardstock, a matte finish, maybe with a slight UV coating on them, maybe. Uh, they're not edged or anything, but they are nice, sturdy, but easily shuffable um, cardstock. Nice matte. Maybe a hint of a coating on it, but it is really nice. Oh, and I love the back of these cards. I think I love these more than the story cards because the back of the story cards, if you remember, if you saw my other video, it has story cards and I think Kathy Nichols on the bottom and she didn't do that with this one. So, I mean, it doesn't bother me in the other deck it, because the other deck is beautiful. But yeah, I prefer, you know, I prefer this. <laughs> All right, so let's go through the cards and we'll see, I want, I'm want. i looking to see how similar these are to her story cards. I know that, you know, the art aesthetic will be very similar, I believe, um, from what I've seen from the few samples in her Etsy shop. So I do know she has an artist card in the other deck. It's not the same one, but there is an artist card. And let me see if I can get in just, I want to make sure you can see as much of the card as possible. Attraction. And you know what I love, and I don't know if you can pick this up at all, but these cards are so layered and textured. I can see the white, you know, and hear the brush strokes and the water droplets, you know, with the water colored. technique and there's some drips and it's just it's beautiful again here I can see in the roses here this is beauty it's a beautiful unicorn 
some texture here. Even though you can't feel it in the card, um, you can see it. The, you know, that there was texture in the original artwork. Oh, I like this one. Blocked. Some cool collage. And, you know, looks like maybe could right here could have been some magazine uh, pictures. She turned it upside down, possibly. This is awesome. Bloom. I don't know if she used a combination of acrylic and watercolor, maybe some gouache, I don't know. Bravery. Brother. There's a lot of cards, so I'm going to kind of flip through these and maybe we can just do a quick comparison with the other deck. Change, because you want to know if you want both decks or not, right? If you have one, do you necessarily need another one? This reminds me, she does have, um, with butterflies, a metamorphosis card in the other deck. But this one is um, similar in feeling, but it's not the exact same picture. Child. It's a cute little kitty with almost human eyes. Those aren't cat eyes. Communication. Again, some great collaging here. Community. Very sweet. I love their little gladiator sandals there. Very sweet. Creativity. I'm not sure, but she may have a fox in her other deck. Or maybe I've been working on Lenormand this month, so the fox. <laughs> I've got fox on the brain. Crystal Vision. Dreamer. She has a similar figure in her other deck. This dress seems familiar. The figure seems familiar. Eagle. This might be triggering to some people. Some uh, people who are conscious of how heritage and particularly the native American spirituality and culture is used. But I, I don't think, I don't think it's meant to be disrespectful or in any way, shape or form. I don't think artists do that, but it comes to mind Marissa de la Pena who created the Circo Tarot. I think she, she has a platform with that. Oh, wow. Empress. I think this is one of the most beautiful Empress cards I have seen in Oracle or my tarot decks. I don't know. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of beautiful Empress cards, but this one is stunning. And this is one of my favorite greens. Not quite teal, not quite a true green. I love it. Wow. Faith. She's blindfolded. Kind of a little bit of a two of swords feel here, don't you think? Fall. Again, the texture is popping up and I know it's probably not picking up for my phone, but take my word for it. Okay, now this card, it's a father here. But I think she has this card, I think, in a different color scheme in the other deck. It has a different heading, though. Finder of Lost Things. So pay attention, because we'll do a quick flip through of the other deck. Fortune. A really quick flip through, because I really want you to see if you need both decks. Gather. 
you may think that you won't don't need any of them if the art doesn't um, you know doesn't call to you gentleness that's beautiful a gentle color palette gentle deer gratitude a lot of things to be grateful for in nature you know and, and we're realizing that right now as we've been you know stuck inside for a while healing and she's got her great collage work here she's got some text and so things have been layered on the text looks like it says began to think of the fresh air and sunshine so she probably used a book a magazine held there's the uh, infinity symbol there home imagination again so her figures are very simple but the layering is very complex. In tune. Love this card. I think there's a card in her other deck that has a similar feel. Uh, incantation. Again, if you can see all this text. So it looks like she used some magazine or pieces of a book as the base layer and then started layering on top of that if you can see that intuition the wise old owl journey again reminds me of the lenormand card because i have lenormand on the brain reminds me of the ship card obviously <coughs> very cool moon there joy very heavily layered card here. It's beautiful. Leader. Delay. So we've got a hanged man-esque card from the tarot here. Loss. It's a beautiful color palette. Oh, it's picking it up. It's on the dark side. This is gorgeous. Love. Shooting stars, it says in text, and then there's they're painted in. Gorgeous. Mother. I believe there's a mother card in the other deck, too, but different. It's not the exact same card. Night Vision. Persistence. Looks like he's got a bunch of artwork on his wall. Practice makes perfect, right? Planting seeds. Prince. Again, there's some text on the collar and down the middle of his shirt. Princess. Okay. She, if you're Outlander fans, if you watch Outlander, she reminds me of the character of Brie. Oh, uh, what's the actress's name? Sophie Skelton. She really does. Okay, this is going to be known as the Brie card to me. <laughs> And the fact that she's with a horse, yeah. Protecting love, like a little kitten. I want to say there's a similar feeling card in the other deck. Raven. Love that card. Rebel. She's got a bee or a hornet on here. Very cool. Ready. I'm going to say I... Maybe this shows up. Something like this shows up in the other deck, too. We shall see. Resilience. 
rest. Lots of layering. Retreat. Rise. Oh, I love this. Water energy. Um, <coughs> river. I'm going to take a swig of my Diet Coke here, my Coke Zero. Roots. Oh, wow. Shaman. I think it's a beautiful card. Might be triggering for some people. But I think it's beautiful. Silence. She's got kind of a very Jane austen um well, except for the rough, but the cap and the curls, it reminds me of that one, you know, portrait that we have of Jane Austen. Sister. Well, we had the brother card, and now we have the sister. Sorrow. I want to say those red boots are familiar. I don't know if it's in the other other deck. I haven't worked with the other deck as um, I haven't had it that long, so I haven't really had a chance to look at it because I'm working on certain decks for this month. Soulmate. Okay, I want to see this sound. This seems familiar, but we shall see. Speaking truth. <coughs> okay. I don't know. I'm going to be dating myself, but <coughs> excuse me. Um, this reminds me of the fairy tale that my grandmother used to tell me. I don't know if it was Grimm's or what, but two sisters were enchanted by a witch and, you know, there were spells cast on them. The good sister, whenever she spoke, because she had lovely words, diamonds and roses and all these wonderful things came out of her mouth. The other sister, who was horrible, had horrible things coming out of her mouth. Newts and toads and lizards and unpleasant things altogether. So, yeah, it made me very conscious of what was coming out of my mouth. I should remember that <laughs> fairy tale. And speaking truth is beautiful. Speed. Looks a little bit like a tornado. Tornado energy here. Maybe kind of a, maybe even tower energy in that card. Spiritual guidance. Our spirit guides can take many different forms. Spring. Gorgeous. And this is what the world is looking like outside. Star. That's beautiful. Storm. Again, lots of layering, lots and lots of layering. It's like you can almost touch it. I almost wish that these had a linen finish. It would have been very impactful, but the cardstock is very nice. It's really nice cardstock. Um, I would say a little sturdier than a Llewellyn. Oh, maybe a little bit thicker, or possibly the same, but um, matte. Storyteller. Okay, that's in the other deck. Strength. Because look, this is... Yeah. <clears throat> Strength. Success. She's got the word wake in there. Summer. She did have a fall card, so this is summer. She had a spring. Oh, synchronicity. And it looks like it's a, de a definition. Definition. This is out of a 
some kind of textbook or dictionary. It's a beautiful card. Teacher. Beautiful. A magician card. I like this. And a world card. So there are some some cards that um, kind of have the tarot energy or not the tarot. Trust. Wildness. Winter. That's a beautiful winter card. Wisdom. Okay, we had another owl card. Can't remember what it was titled though. <laughs> but I love owls, so that's great. And it's beautiful. Reflection. Oh, these kind of got, these were out of, out of order. All right, so let's try to find those um, QRS reflection. Let's try to put this back where it should go. Speaking truths. Lots of S cards in this deck. <laughs> Silence. Oh, yes. Lots of. Okay. Here we go. We're heading into the R's. Roots River, Rise, Retreat, Retreat Rest, Resilience, Ready So Reflection should go in here. So I'm going to have to count, count my cards because they were out of order. So let's take just a quick, 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 quick view. You want to see that, right? <laughs> Just so you can see, um, you know, whether or not you, you might want to buy the bundle. You might not, you might just want one of these cards. So let's go through them really quickly. See if we come across, there's a, they both have beauty cards, but they're different. Beginnings, we have blocked, box of rain, bloom, called, bravery, communion, and brother, change, confidence, crossing, child, cyclist, communication. So I can see how you can make a story more with these cards and you saw I did a brief little exercise with that in my last video. Dreamer, community, duality, creativity. Well, maybe this is where I got the red shoes from. This is one of my favorite cards. <laughs> I just love the collage work in that. Faith. It's like a Ten of Swords card, I think I pointed out. Dreamer. She seems familiar, so keep a lookout for this one. Fierce and Eagle. Flow, Empress, Friendship, Faith. So we've got like a Winter Frozen card and we've got the Fall here. This one also is another one I know is familiar, so remember this card. It's Father. Giving gratitude. Finder of lost things. Growth on the left here. Fortune. Healing. Gather. Home. Gentleness. Intuition, gratitude, joy, healing. So you see the aesthetic is the same. 
held. Okay, here it is. It's the king in this card. And I'm sorry, in this deck. And it is the father in this deck. The synchronicity, and that's the story cards. So we've got the eggs. To here, it looks like the bird has been hatched. Or that's the mother watching over her eggs. So yes. Different color palette. Okay, so I knew there was some... Okay, so this is synchronicity. These are story cards. Home, mother. Longing. Imagination. Loss. In tune, love, incantation. So we have a similar card in this deck, I know, the home card, remember? We saw intuition, magic. They're both birds. Okay, so that's the owl, intuition for the owl. Meditation, okay, here's some red boots. Maybe that's where I got it in this deck. Red boots, red shoes, journey, meditation. Okay, see, Met metamorphosis. And that was the change card here. Butterflies, but different palette. Joy. Well, see, we do have a mother card in here. And I know we have the mother card in here. I can find it really quickly. It's a pretty one. We're coming to it. Okay, so there's two mother, there's a mother card in each deck. Totally different, but, okay, this has been, it's out of order, should be in the D's, delay, and mystic. Nature Boy, Sloss, Neighbor, there's Love, Nurture, oh, it's cool that the Nurture and the Mother card are next to each other. You can, you can almost put these together and make one huge deck. <laughs> Night Vision, Opportunity, Princess of the Borderland, Persistence, Queen, she looks like, well, we have an Empress card in this deck, but we also have the Bravery card, kind of has that energy, the young girl, so here it's planting seeds, Release, Prince, Rising, Princess, My camera is reminding me that I'm running out of juice, so I'm going to make sure you got the last ones that I pulled. Rooted, protecting love, seeking, raven, self reliance, rebel. Serendipity Ready. This one seems familiar to me from the other deck, but we shall see. Uh, so here is Reflection and Serenity. They both go together. Setting Sail. So there is a ship card in here, if you remember. Um, resilience. These go together. Solitude and Rest. And I think there is a, it's got a tent. I think there's a card with a tent in here as well. Soulfulness, retreat, here it is. <laughs> More of a teepee. Storyteller. So I know we have, yeah. Um, they are a little bit different. 
This one has got like a moon. You can see more of the moon. This one you see less of it. But pretty much the same. So I'm going ahead, but I know. Uh, rise. Sunshine Girl, River, Surfer, and Roots. And see, this one does have an artist card. And here's the artist card at the beginning of this deck. And Shaman. Oh, I don't know why this one is out of... Oh, because they're going by the artist. Because I know that I have these cards still in order. And see, there's a fox in here. And it was um, in here. What was it? Oh, in the synchronicity deck, it was creativity. So there is a fox in both decks. So it's going the fox. Silence. Thinker. Sister. Those are the red boots and something about... Yeah, there's red showing up in this deck. Sorrow, travel, trust. So these trust and soulmate, they're kind of the same, similar energy in both of them. Both very sweet. Uncertainty, speaking truth, union, speed, Unity, spiritual guidance. I think I noticed that there was a lot of couples in this one. There seems to be less so in this one. Visionary, spring. So there's a unicorn card, you know, in the other one for beauty. Oops, did I take two? Spring, yeah, okay. All right, so star, visionary, waiting, I love this card, storm, waiting for the storm, well-being, here's a storyteller card, wildflower, strength, Wisdom, so there's an owl card in this one. There's two owl cards in this one. Success. Or is there, is it the same card? I don't know. Okay, yes, there is a wisdom in here, the last card, but it's different. See, the artwork is different. Summer. Work and synchronicity. The yes card. I love that yes card. And the teacher. I think I went through this deck maybe a little bit quicker. I think they both have the same amount of cards. Um, the magician. The world. Trust. Wildness. So we've been through these already. So... Okay, there's less actually in this one. There's 70. That's why we went through it quicker. There's 70 in the story cards. And I believe, so yes, 77 in the synchronicity cards. So, do you need both? <laughs> I'm going to say yes. There's probably some more archetypal energy in the synchronicity cards and these ones really you can use to make stories with your cards um artwork and aesthetic very similar um because it's done by the same artist using the same collage watercolor maybe some acrylic painting technique in it it's they're both beautiful and i'm like i'm glad 
I have both decks. So um, you do get a discount if you buy both decks. And like I said, they're really cheap. They're included in a bundle if you take your e-course. If you're interested in learning how to do this kind of art, I, I've been playing with it already. Um, I'm not a proficient, n nowhere near any of this gorgeousness. But um, yeah, the cardstock is really good. Uh, similar to Llewellyn cardstock, I would say, but matte, a nice feeling, kind of almost rose petal -y. Uh Easy to shuffle and uh, yeah, just, just gorgeous. So that is the Synchronicity deck by Kathy Nichols and a quick run through of her story cards, but I do have a full, uh, kind of slower walkthrough on my channel of her story cards. So if you found any value to this video, let me know and with a, a like, a subscribe. Um, if you have these cards, let me know how you use them. I would love to hear. And I will see you next time very soon for another unboxing or a look at my deck collection or something or other. So wishing you the best.